All right, so we're back for another one and I couldn't leave you guys out on this one here. So this is another way to use the epoxy primer and it's gonna save you guys a lot of time out there in the collision world. So I know you guys are dealing with the same issues that I'm dealing with and you're getting these peeler jobs, maybe from Hyundai, from Toyota or whatever manufacturer is having the issues. But the epoxy is the way you wanna go with these. So we stripped this one down here all the way to the bare metal on the roof and on the sail panels and we took it all the way to the body line so you want to make sure you lose it in an area like this so that way when you hit it with your primer you're not going to have any edges on it so it's definitely key to stripping them all the way down and getting rid of all the layers of paint and primer that are on it you want to make sure that you get it all the way down to the metal and you don't have any leftover paint and you guys see here we have it stripped all the way down the bare metal and so we have also the hood and the trunk on this one here. Bare metal and we have bare metal. There was a spot we went ahead and did for free and we hit it with some uh, primer last night and we fixed that little spot on the hood for the customer just to give them a nicer job. But now I'm gonna show you how to save time because if you were to have to prime this whole job and re-sand it all, it's gonna take you that much more time and you're gonna have that much more materials in it. So. We're going to show you that you use your wet on wet sealer, the same one we use for the uh, restoration work as a sealer and then move right into your base coat and save a major, major step in the refinishing aspect of this by not having to sand it and prime it. So I wanted to show you guys this, another benefit of the epoxy primer. So we're going to go ahead now and wipe this one down. And when I'm doing the bare metal, I like to use an alcohol based cleaner on it. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do now and hit this. And last night I hit this with an etch wipe and I'm gonna go ahead and show you that as well. All right, so these are the products that I'm using now. And when I was at the other shop, I was using an etch wipe from Sherwin-Williams. But this here is a really good treatment for the metal once you get it stripped down, if you're gonna let it sit and you're gonna shoot it the next morning, I wipe it down with this. And then after I come in the next day, I lightly go over it just to knock off anything because Sometimes you'll see that it'll haze over the metal because it's doing its job. So right before I bring it in the booth, I'll lightly go over the uh, metal with a sky pad or just a little bit of a super fine and it'll knock off anything that this actually treats. So now we're gonna go ahead and use our alcohol wipe cleaner and then we're gonna go into the epoxy and I'm gonna show you how nice it works for a sealer. All right, so we're all clean now and I wanna go over this a little bit with you guys on what I sanded this with here to refine it up. So the body man strips the panels down for me and he uses a 180 grit on the metal. So once I get the car back from him, the 180 grit is fine on the bare metal, but once it's meeting up to the paint here, that's too coarse. So what I do is I refine down all my areas where he is ended his stripping at with a 320 or a 400 grit, and then I go into my normal 600 or 800 for the blends on it. So it takes a little bit of time to refine the actual metal down and get everything smoothed down. That way you can just move right into your sealer. Don't think that this is just, you know, stripped down with 80 grit and you're gonna be sealing it. You gotta definitely do some refinement to the actual metal areas as well as the paint and where it actually meets up with it. So you want to smooth down all those areas where it's going to be transitioning from the metal into the paint. Get that smoothed down finer. That way you can just seal it and move right into your uh, base coat. So we're going to show you that now and uh, get this thing rolling. All right, so today we're going to be trying out here a different one and we're using the Omni and this is made by PPG and it's a little bit less expensive than the normal DP that we use. So. This one here is a white, so that's why we went with this one on it. So DP makes a white as well, but they happen to be on back or with it. So we're gonna be trying this one out here. And this is a recommended product in the same way that we're doing it with the DP. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on and we wanna use white because the car is white and that'll make us use a lot less materials of the actual base coat. So let's go ahead and mix it up and put it on the vehicle.
All right, so we've got our epoxy on it now, and you'll want to give that about 30 minutes to definitely flash off well before you move into your uh, base coats. With the epoxies, they are a little bit slower than the normal sealers like the urethanes. This to me is the best way of doing these strip peeler cars. Sand them down smooth, get them uh, feather edge really, really nice and bring it to the body lines and then go ahead and put your epoxy right on and move right into your uh, base coat and you'll get a nice finish with it. So I've already done many of these like this before and I'll show it to you guys all finished up at the end. That way you guys can see that it really looks nice. So what do you think? And uh, to me, this is the best way of doing it for everyone, the shop, me, and uh, the customer gets a really good job because you're putting down the epoxy right on the bare metal and there's nothing better than an epoxy on bare metal. So if you would have etched this, you would have had a urethane prime it, and then you would have had to scuff it, sand it, retape it, and do all that stuff. If you spend a little bit more time in your prep of the metal and your feather edges, you roll right into the epoxy and you can get black, white, and gray. Most companies make all the shades. And then you can get a nice outcome like this. And this is all done in half of a day here. So I've smoothed it out, taped it up, got it in here, and got this whole job done. And yes, it is a three-stage W8 Pearl. So to me, it came out really nice. You guys let me know if you're doing it this way or are you putting down the etch and sanding down the primer? Because to me, that's a lot more work and you don't get any more money to do that, and this is a better product to use the epoxy. So let me know what you guys are using, and we'll see you guys on the next one.